Welcome to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10U World Series on the Region Sports Network, presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us, and welcome to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10U World Series on the Region Sports Network, on the internet at RSN YouTube, Facebook.com slash Region Sports and regionsports.com. We come to you today from Jerry Ross Park in Crown Point, Indiana's Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. Presents the Cal Ripken 10U World Series. I'm Jack Thiel. I'll be calling all the play-by-play action here today. Behind the camera, James Chalos and Zach Zanelli producing today's game. So, game two of four here in the quarterfinals of the World Series bracket. We'll have the South Lexington Red as the number 12 seed coming in. After a huge win yesterday to face off against a team from North Carolina West Raleigh Blue, they are your number four seed, and both of these teams actually have faced off. Two days ago, these teams played a male biter where West Raleigh walked it off against South Lexington. But for the team from Kentucky, a huge win against the Winchester Sachems last yesterday, 5 to 1. So now they come in with a 2-2 two two record. Their pitching has been stellar so far. For South Lexington, three games where they've only given up one run or less. So their pitching has definitely been the strong suit for them. On the other side of things, for West Riley, they come into today's game 3-0. and The good job offense and defense. They won their first game against West Boca 6-2. Defeated Eau Claire Orange 10-0. And that walk-off win against South Lexington, we just talked about 5-4 to four, so. They've given up a couple of runs, but their offense has been there scoring 17 runs in three games so far through pool play. The winner of this game will face Florence Navy All-Stars. They were the winners of game one here as they defeated the Jacksonville Beach Barracudas. And those two teams, the winner of this and Florence Navy, will face off tomorrow at 5 o'clock here on the major field. So South Lexington is your road team. Here's how they line up today in the batting order. It will be... Andrew Waltz, Easton McGuire, Maddox Evans, Briggs Lubick, Miles Tunstall, Dalton Gillespie, Corey Flannery, Miles Gray, and Jace Jennings. Wes Raleigh, your home team. Here's how they'll line up defensively. Jollette in left, Zoo in center, Huss in right, Kunis at third, Lyston at short, Team at second, Wilson at first. Catching is Boyer and your pitcher. For Wes Raleigh Blue will be Emmett Skinner. So as we get some final warm-up tosses in, a beautiful day in Crown Point, Indiana. Sun shining bright, a couple of clouds, but we're expected some great weather for some great baseball. Up now South number 17, Andrew Waltz. So Andrew Waltz, he's been a consistent piece in the leadoff spot. Bunch shown, pulls it back, but it'll still be a call up strike for Waltz. His favorite school subjects, Jim and Lunch. I completely agree, those are the best school subjects. The 1 0 away for ball one. His favorite food, her orange chicken, steak. And Shrimp, he enjoys playing baseball, basketball with his three siblings. A hidden talent is he can do one-arm push-ups. And Waltz on the 1-1, fouls it off. His favorite TV show, Sports Center. His favorite music comes from the rapper, Lil Baby. If he can meet anybody historically, it would be Abraham Lincoln. And his favorite professional athlete, Shohei Otani. As here's the 1-2. And away for ball two. Saver professional team, the Indianapolis Colts. His best advice is to show great attitude and effort. As here's the 2-2. And Waltz takes away for ball three. So Skinner on the mound, he was your hero. And now walk-off one against South Lexington. There's a single to the right side that scored the game-winning run. That was his third hit in that game as a 3-2 misses away for ball four. So a leadoff walk for Waltz. Easton McGuire now, pitcher in today's game. He's played a lot of shortstop for South Lexington. Oh, 
First pitch, McGuire fouls that off the right netting. He loves cheeseburgers and pasta. Also enjoys playing video games. He also plays basketball, football, and golf. His favorite professional athlete, Ronald Acuna Jr. As here's the on one. McGuire lines that right center. It's hit deep, and it drops over the center fielder's head and bounces off the wall. Here comes Waltz, rounding third, and home slides in safely. And just like that, an RBI double by McGuire in South Lexington. Starts the hot bats early. South Lexington, they were the number 12 seed. And that first pitch is an outside on Evans. But, you know, when you get to these bracket games, sometimes you look at the seeding and may get ahead of yourself. But, you know, when it comes to these games, seeding doesn't matter. You have to win the game in front of you. And the 1-0 pitch, a swing and a miss. So South Lexington, who has shown strong pitching throughout this tournament, a huge start for them offensively. And as the 1-1 misses away to count now, 2-1-1. and one. Evans, another player who has been a huge piece for this team. And Evans will lift that one in the right. Hustle, what a drop for a base hit. McGuire rounds third, takes a huge turn, but will head back. And another hit for South Lexington, a single off the bat of Evans. So runners on the corner, nobody out for Briggs Lubick. So time called by the catcher, Boyer. Some defensive signs here as you do have the double play opportunity, but if that runner does come home, you may want to gun him. So the cleanup hitter now with a huge chance. First pitch swinging, drilled, right center and down. That will roll to the wall. One will score. Here comes Evans rounding third. Lubeck round second going into third. He slides in safely. A two RBI triple by the cleanup hitter. And South Lexington now up 3-0. Talk about early offense. A single, a double, and a triple for South Lexington in the first. And now a mound visit here between the infield and the catcher. Trying to calm Skinner down a little bit. You know, to his point, he's throwing a lot of strikes out there. And you just have to give credit to the South Lexington headers for squaring it up. So Miles tons still the righty. Enjoys a good cob salad, some tacos and some seafood. He collects sports cards. He makes videos, and he loves watching sports. Another sport he participates in is gymnastics. He also likes to watch football, baseball, and basketball. As here is the first pitch, ton still. A swing and a miss, four strike one. His favorite music comes from the baby, Lil Baby, and Lil Easy Vert. Favorite historical person is Babe Ruth, and his favorite professional athlete, Freddie Freeman. That one low, it's off the catcher. Lubeck is going to go home. No one's covering at the plate. Slides in safely. So heads up, base running. And now South Lexington up by four. So a tough start for the team from North Carolina. And South Lexington with all the momentum and confidence, nobody out still. Seemed like the home plate umpire was checking on the catcher boy to make sure he was okay. It's a 1-1 one -one count on ton still. And 
and Tunstall on the ground, right to Skinner on the mound. A soft toss to the first baseman in time for the first out. A good job by Skinner on the mound to respond after those four early runs to get an easy ground out for out number one. Now Dalton Gillespie. And Gillespie, half swing on the first pitch, rolls right to Skinner on the mound. And a hard throw to first in time for out number two. Now, number 30, Corey so two quick outs after those first four runs. Corey Flannery now. And Flannery on the first pitch takes high for ball one. As here's the 1-0. And Flannerly takes for a call strike. It started with a leadoff walk by Waltz. Then an RBI double by McGuire. A single by Evans. A two RBI triple by Lubeck. And there's that one. Four ball two. And then Lubeck able to score from third on a wild pitch. 2-1. Swing and a miss off the bat of Flannery. So the count now 2-2 two two with two outs. The 2-2, two -two. Flannery, slow roller, right to the first baseman, Wilson, who grabs it and taps on first base for out number three, but not before the hot start by South Lexington. Four early runs will go to the bottom of the first for West Raleigh's first at-bats. You're watching the 10U Kyle Ripken World Series on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. This box is small, like Pet Supplies Plus. This one is large, like a big box store. In each, Stu, I Stu, has carefully hidden a toy. Question is, which dog will find it first? <laughs> Moose, no, you were so close. When life keeps you busy and you can't get to the store, shop online with Strack and Van Til To Go. Our To Go service is easy to use. Register using your rewards account information, fill your virtual cart, and choose delivery or pickup. Once your order is in, our own Strack and Van Til team preps your order with care. With our To Go service, you can earn reward points and save time and money with our online coupons and weekly ad prices. Life made simple, shopping made easy. For more information or to sign up, visit shop.strackandvantil.com. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10 World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. So West Riley now, they'll have their first at bats. Drills out, they line up in the batting order. Ryan Zhu, Parker team. Batting third will be Emmett Skinner. Batting fourth, Easton Kunis. Batting fifth, Peter Huss. Batting sixth will be Logan Lyston. Batting seventh, Weston Pupa. Batting 8th, Henry Wilson. Batting 9th, Lawson Gillette. And batting 10th will be Sam Boyer. Here's how South Lexington will line up defensively. Gray in left, Evans in center, Tutton still in right, Gillespie at third, Jennings at short, Waltz at second, Lubeck at first. Flannery is the catcher, and Easton McGuire is your pitcher. As his first pitch misses high and away for ball one. So the lefty. Ryan Zhu now. 1 0. Zhu right on the ground to the shortstop. Jennings gloves it. High throw the foot off the bag. And Ryan Zhu will be safe. So the throw is just off key from Jennings. It was a good job on the fueling aspect of it, but just the throw is a little off. So Parker team now, the right-hander, lays down the butt down the first base line, and what a bunt by Parker team. It beautifully rolled down that line, and South Lexington not able to make a play. So here comes Wes Riley with the offense now. Two runners on, nobody out, and three pitches 
Now Emmett Skinner, he was your hero two days ago. The walk-off hit by the left-hander. Skinner. And takes it outside for ball one. He also is your pitcher for West Raleigh. And obviously after that tough inning, nothing would make him feel better than able to drive one in for West Raleigh. The one out. And misses away for ball two. The righty can wiggle his ears without touching them. His favorite TV shows are Diners, Drive-In and Dives. His favorite music comes from the late great Juice World. Historically, he loved to meet Martin Luther King Jr.'s favorite professional athlete is Trey Turner. 2-0. Skinner lines that left field and foul. His favorite professional team, the Philadelphia Phillies. His best advice is the only thing you can control, your attitude and your effort. His superstition is eye black. Here's a 2-1. And Skinner takes on the outside corner. Clips the zone for a call strike two. Easton McGuire, the pitcher. He's seen a lot of shortstop in tournament play alongside pitching in a couple games as well. But with a 4 nothing lead, uh, some room, some comfortableness there. As Skinner is slow, rolling the ground. McGuire's going to have to make a move. The throw the first in time. West Riley able to advance both of the runners, but South Lexington able to get the first out of the inning. So now we have an Easton versus Easton battle. Easton Kunis and Easton McGuire as Kunis takes for a called strike. Kunis, as here comes the 0-1. Swings and misses on strike two. Now to count 0-2. His favorite food is steak. He loves rap music. He'd love to meet Jackie Robinson. But his favorite professional athlete is Jose Ramirez. As his favorite professional team is the Cleveland Guardians. Here's the 0-2. Kunis on the ground to the shortstop Jennings. Throws it the first. Foot off the bag again. So Ryan Zhu will cross home plate. Parker team now stands at third, and Easton Kunis stands at first safely. So Peter Huss now. Bunt called a strike, and... Kunis will advance the second safely. So now two runners in scoring position with only one out. McGuire gets to the sign. Infield partially playing in. And the 0-1 pitch call to strike on Huss to count now 0-2. For Huss, enjoy steak, donuts, and sugar snap peas. As here's the 0-2, and Huss takes high and away for ball one. His hidden talents is he's a three-time Wood Creek Cannonball champ. He also does play golf. As here's the 1-2, and Huss takes outside for ball two. He enjoys the baby and Brian Adams. Historically, he'd like to meet Abe Fromman. As here's the 2-2. Huss on the ground, right to the first baseman, backhands it, looks at home, the throw, not in time. So Parker, team, slides in safely. West Raleigh cuts the deficit to two. And runners on the corner with one out. It was a tough play for Lubeck to make at first. You could have tagged the bag or tried to gun down that runner at home. He thought he could get the runner. But... The speed of team was too much. So now a mound visit here. Trying to calm down this pitcher on the mound as he has the runners on the corner. You do have a double play opportunity, but Huss may be on the move after the pitch. So we'll see how the defense lines up here. 
It looks like to be double play death. Logan Lyson, the batter now. Logan Lyson is hit in town as he's ambidextrous. He also plays football, his favorite TV show, Tom and Jerry. Another little baby fan. Here's the first pitch. Lyson shows bunt, lays it down, but it's foul. His favorite historical person, Walter Payton. I can get behind that one. He likes him because everyone thought he was too small to play in the NFL and became one of the greatest running backs in the history of its league. The 0 1, Lyson fouls that one straight back. Now down a count 0 2. His favorite professional athlete is Tyreek Hill. His favorite professional team is the Chicago Cubs. His best advice is don't expect greatness. Greatness will come. Or the 2 Lyson under that one in left field. It's hit deep. And it's a two hopper off the wall. One will score. Here comes the tying run around third. No throw at the plate. And just like that, a four-run first inning for West Raleigh. A two-RBI triple off the bat of Lyson. If you like offense, you're in the right place. Eight runs here in the first inning between both teams. The infield now in at all four positions. Pupa. Takes that low for ball one. So a brand new ball game. And the extra hit of Pupa a chance to give West Raleigh the lead. Pupa, that one on the ground near the first base side and will roll foul. This is uncharted territory for South Lexington. They only gave up six runs in three games in pool play. They only gave up one run against Winchester yesterday. In their loss against West Riley, they only scored five and already four here in the first. So here's the 1-1. One -one. Pupa fouls that one off the end of the bat towards the first base side. So McGuire had a count one and two now. For Pupa, enjoy steak and shrimp. His hidden talents are hitting 450 nukes dead center. He also plays football and is a swimmer. His favorite TV show is Baseball Bat Bros as a one-two. And Pupa fouls that one off. His favorite musician, Morgan Wallen. Historically, he loved to meet Pete Rose. His favorite professional athlete, Ronald Acuna Jr., as his favorite team is the Atlanta Braves. Here's the one, two. Pupa, swing and a miss. Strike three, a huge out number two for McGuire on the mound. So Henry Wilson now has a go-ahead run, stands at third still, and Logan Lyson. First pitch, call the strike. This first inning started. Ryan Zhu reached on an air. Parker team singled. Emmett Skinner was the first out of the inning on a ground out. Ethan Kunis reached on an air. Peter Huss reached on a fielder's choice. And the big hit by Logan Lyson, the two RBI triple. That's how we're tied here at four here early in the first. Here's the 0-1. And Wilson takes high and away for ball one. So McGuire, 26 pitches so far for the tall right-hander on the mound. Trying to get out of this inning with the game tied. The 1-1. Taken, call the strike. Hits the outer half of the zone. Now ahead, one and two, and one strike away from ending the first inning. So McGuire steps off the mound, takes his cap off. And Wilson takes a deep breath before he steps back in the box. As here's the one-two. 
Just misses outside the corner. So the count now moves two and two with two outs, twos across the board. A lot of scoring here in the early going. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And Wilson takes Hine away. Four ball three. Lawson Gillette stands on deck. Last rally into this inning. Down by four. Trying to take the lead and score run number five. That runner stands at third. A 3-2. Call. Strike three. Clips the outside corner. And Easton McGuire able to leave the runner stranded at third, but not before. West Rally ties thing at four behind a huge two RBI triple off the bat of Logan Lyson. will go to the top of the second as you're watching the 10U Cal Ripken World Series on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. Located just one block north of the square in Crown Point and just one minute from Jerry Ross Park, Station 21 American Grill is one of the city's most popular eateries. Station 21 offers a full menu from steaks and seafood to burgers and wings. While in town for the Cal Ripken World Series, stop in and enjoy comfortable dining while watching a game on one of the 28 big screen TVs. Check out the menu at station21.com. Station 21 American Grill. Eat, drink, and relax. Hi, I'm Crowell Company's Lantern Man. I'll cover your motorcycle. I'll be with you on the water. I'll be with you on the snow. I'll cover your insurance needs wherever you go. I'll be at Crowl Agency from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. As Crowl Company's Lantern Man, I'm your insurance superhero. Crowl Company's the insurance professionals in Highland, Maryville, and Michigan City. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10U World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. So when Skinner left the mound after the top of the first, his team was trailing by four. And now he steps on the mound here in a second with the game tied at four. Big thank you to everybody joining us here today. Thank you for making us a part of your day and we hope you're enjoying the coverage. First pitch swinging right to the shortstop by Lyson. The throw to first in time to get Miles Gray out. So after giving up those four early runs, Skinner has been able to set down four South Lexington batters in a row. So it'll be Jace Jennings now. Jennings almost gets hit by that first pitch. The right-hander enjoys cheeseburgers, chicken nuggets, and pizza. He loves to collect baseball cards. His favorite shows are Quick Pitch and Sports Center. And Jennings on that 1-0. Swinging to miss for strike one. His favorite music comes from Chris Stapleton and Guns N' Roses. Historically, his favorite person is Derek Jeter. As here's the 1-1. One, one. And Jennings takes inside and high for a ball one. He grew up as a Yankees fan like me. He also got to play for the Yankees, and that's what I want to do. I could also learn a lot from him. As here's the 2-1. Inside on Jennings, and that will get a piece of him. Might have got that shoulder area. Seems to be all right. As he'll jog on the first. They'll see if he needs some more time to rub it off. But seems to be all right. So now Andrew Waltz will turn the lineup card over. Waltz started that big first inning. He drew a walk and scored. So Skinner, after sending four South Lexington batters in a row, now has a runner on. First pitch, Stone Waltz, outside, four ball one. And, and we kind of mentioned this, to Skinner's point, he hasn't really missed with his location. South Lexington has done a really good job putting the bat on the ball. As a 1-0 pitch call, the strike. 29 pitches so far for the right-hander. 
As here's the one one. Bunch shown. The bunts laid down, down the third baseline. Canus on Canu, Kunas on the play. For out number two. So that will be Jennings to second. So a good play by Kunis at third. Now McGuire. An RBI double in his last at bat. Hit one in the gap. And McGuire takes high and tight. Four ball one. He's also the starting pitcher for South Lexington. Trying to rally here. You get a runner in from second. As I want to misses away. Four ball two. All right, so South Lexington, the number 12 seed. Only 12 teams made the World Series bracket. As here's the 2-0. And a hefty swing and a miss from the batter McGuire. But South Lexington trying to say, hey, we don't care what number's next to us. We have a baseball game to play, and we intend to win it. The 2-1, McGuire has to duck and get out of the way of that one. The count now, 3-1. and one. A good job by the catcher, Boyer, to prevent that from going past him. Maddox, 7, stands on deck. Here's the 3-1. And away, 4, ball 4, gets past the catcher. And Jennings now stands at third. So Maddox Evans singled and scored in the last at bat. And for South Lexington, when their offense does, does come to the attack, it's been the middle of the lineup. So with two outs now, Boyer the catcher calling for a players only meeting on the mound. Talking about what happens if McGuire does try to go to second here, as we've seen when runners are on third and first, that runner at first. Goes a second to try to draw a throw so the runner at third can score. Maybe talking about if he does go to second, let's get him out as they need one out to get out of the inning. But you do have to watch out for Jennings at third because if he crosses home before that out, the run will count. So Skinner sets on the mound. Evans on the first pitch. Takes it for a called strike. And you can see a close eye on McGuire at first. A pretty sizable lead after that pitch was thrown, but retreated back to first base. As here's the 0-1. And high, four ball one. McGuire now goes a second to throw in the play at home, not in time. Just how South Lexington drew it up. <laughs> Drawing the throw to second, giving Jennings enough time to get the home. And they regain their lead, 5-4, the 1-1. The one, one. Evans takes Lone away, 4-ball, 2. And a good job right there by McGuire. Really sold that he was going to second base and was able to go back to first quickly. The 2-1. And Evans takes on a high corner, called a strike. So twos across the board, two balls, two strikes, two outs. And Evans takes a look. Did he go? He did not. Looked like that pitch could have been called strike three. Just misses the zone. They appealed. So he didn't go. It's not a count full. Briggs Lubeck stands on deck. The 3 2. And away. Four ball four. So McGuire takes a large turn at second, but heads back on the walk. So Briggs, Lubeck, who had probably the biggest hit for South Lexington in that big first inning. It was a two RBI triple by the cleanup hitter. And now a chance here to add on to the lead with two runners on. Lubeck, first pitch swing, and that is up the middle of through. They're going to send the runner, McGuire, home. He takes... Uh, stop and heads back to third. Heads up, base running right there by McGuire. The third base coach sent him home, but once he took a look at look, took a look at the throw, he decided I'm gonna stay at third and keep the inning alive. So now the bases are loaded for two outs. Miles Tuttle still. He grounded out in his first at bat. 
Tunstall a high, swing and a miss on the first pitch. What an opportunity here for South Lexington after up by four and giving up the four-run lead. Now a chance to increase the one-run lead as he takes a called strike, counting out 0-2. Tunstall will step back in the batter's box. McGuire at third, Adams at second, and Lubeck at first as the 0-2 pitch high. Four ball, one. South Lexington coming out of Lexington, Kentucky. West Rally Blue coming out of Raleigh, North Carolina. The 1-2. Tunstall fouls that out of play off the right netting. Game 2 of 4 here on the major field of the World Series bracket. The next game will be the ever dangerous Altamont All Stars facing off against Wheat Park Blue. A 1 2. Tunstill will foul that one out and out of play here near our press box. And then tonight will be Crown Point Red and the Bryant Black Sox. And that game scheduled for 4 45. And then tomorrow, our coverage will start at 5 o'clock for the semifinals as that one, two, misses away. Now to count two and two. The winner of this game will face Florence Navy All-Stars, who won game one here today. As here's the 2-2. Two, two. Ton still slow roller on the ground. It's going to be hard play for Skinner. Flips it at home. A smart play made by the pitcher. For out number three, but not before. South Lexington regains the lead only by one this time. It's five to four. We'll head to the bottom of the second. As you're watching 10 U Cal Ripken World Series on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. From schools to stadiums, hospitals, and bridges, everywhere you look, Union Carpenters are building Indiana. With jobs and skilled trades in high demand, there's never been a better time to start building your future. As an apprentice, you'll earn a debt-free college degree, earn while you learn, and receive great benefits like health care and retirement. So what are you waiting for? Visit Carpenters.com to learn more. Visit Carpenters.com and start building your future today. Thinking about what to do after high school? Consider a career with Boilermakers Local 374. As a Boilermaker apprentice, you'll earn while you learn. We offer excellent wages and benefits, and as part of our no-cost hands-on apprenticeship program, you'll learn from the best in state-of-the-art training centers and on the job. Become a union Boilermaker and get on your way to a great career. Find out more. Visit www.local374.org or call 219-845-1000. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10 World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. So nine runs here in the early going. Easton McGuire remains on the mound for South Lexington. And West Raleigh see themselves down again, but after that first inning, feel pretty confident no lead is safe in this game. So Lawson Gillette, the first batter. And Gillette will take that first pitch low for ball one. Just a reminder after today's games, we'll name our crowd companies Lantern Man Superhero the Game. Our proud union home play of the game presented by IKORCC. The 1 0 bunch shown. It's laid down, but rules foul on the third base side. And you're a Boils Maker Local 374 Blue Collar. Player of the Game. And also a big thank you to Station 21 for partnering with us for this week's coverage. From burgers and ribs to wings and fish, they're open every day at 11 a.m. for lunch and dinner. And it's right around the corner here at the ballpark. Now here's the 1-1. One -one. 
And a swing and a miss off the bat of Gillette. The count now one and two. You can check out their menu at Station21.com, Station21 American Grill. Eat, drink, and relax. Also be sure to hire the Blue Crew for all your umpire needs. And that one, two misses. Actually, no, call, strike three. Catches the outside corner for out number one. For all your umpire needs, be sure to hire the Blue Crew. Give them an email at thebluecrew21 at gmail.com. Email at thebluecrew21 at gmail.com. Now Sam Boyer, the batter. And Boyer takes low for ball one. For Boyer, the right-hander enjoys barbecued pulled pork sandwiches, shrimp, fudge, and watermelon. 1-0. And that one hits Boyer near that shoulder arm area, and he'll take first base. So Ryan Zhu now, who reached under an air, will flip the lineup card over. As they're allowing Boyer a couple of more seconds just to walk it off and shake it off. Yes, I do know that is a Taylor Swift song as well. As she is taking over the world, as it seems, with her eras toward. Boyer seems to be okay. Steps on first base. So Ryan Zoo now reached on an air and scored in his first plate appearance. And Zoo takes the first pitch call. The strike you have Gillespie, the third baseman, playing in in case of a bunt. The old one. And misses away. And the count now one and one. McGuire. 38 pitches on the mound. Trying to get out of sitting and keeping the lead for South Lexington. 1-1. One, one. Zoo. Tucked this swing, but still a called strike. So now one and two in the count. Three strikeouts so far for McGuire on the mound. As here's the one two. And just misses low and away for ball two. McGuire waits for a sign. He gets it. The two two. And Zoo takes low and away again for ball three. McGuire thought that might have hit the zone, but the count now full with one out. Parker team stands on deck. So McGuire sets on the mound. Here's the three two. And high and away for ball four. A good at bat by Zoo at the plate. And now uh, two runners on and one out for West Rally. So team singled and scored back in the first. Playing second base today. Took a look at his third base coach for any signs needed. Maybe a bunt here, but with one out, we'll see. First pitch, a swing and a miss. That goes off the catcher. Both runners on the move. The throw to third, not in time. So Boyer slides in the third. Zoo now stands at second. It's an 0 1 count on team with one out. The 0 1. Down the middle. Call the strike count team. McGuire takes his cap off, takes a deep breath behind the mound. Gets himself set here for the 0-2 pitch. And here comes the 0-2. That one on the ground to the second baseman, Waltz. Throw the home. Got him in time. A nice play by the second baseman. And a good attack by Flannery to gun Boyer at home for out number two. 
So as you can see right there, for Waltz, you got to think right away. Do you go home or do you go for the out at first and believed he could get Boyer out at home? And he did that. And a good job by Flannery on the tag. Uh, South Lexington able to keep their 5-4 lead. So Emmett Skinner now grounded out in the first inning. Tying run stands out third and Zoo. Skinner on that first pitch lifted in the left and caught by Gray. A little bit of an underhand grab by the left fielder for out number three. So McGuire, some trouble on the bases, but able to work through it as he throws a scoreless second inning. We'll go to the third as you're watching the 10U Cal Ripken Road Series on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10 World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. Now here in the top of the third, South Lexington still with a 5-4 to four lead. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here today. we got James Chalos on the camera, Zach Zanelli producing, and our director making the long trip, Claude Martinez. You know, for people that don't know, Claude Martinez has really been the person orchestrating both of our crews here on the major field and on the A field. He's the man. If you ever come to the games running around in a white shirt and a blue region sports hat, So South Lexington, it will be Dalton Gillespie now, grounded out in his first at-bat. First pitch swinging. He'll file that off to the right side. Once again, a big thank you to everybody tuning in. We'd love to know where you're watching from, whether that's from the Lexington, Kentucky area, the Raleigh, North Carolina area, if you're from another country, from another state. We'd love to know from where. Well, here's the O1. And Gillespie lines that center field, but right to Zoo for up number one. Those are one of those plays as a batter where you're so upset because you hit you hit that ball really well, but hit it right to a person. So Corey Flannery now. Flannery on the day, 0 for 1, he grounded out. Flannery first pitch swinging on the ground. Lyston there to make the play, to throw in time. A 6-3 ground out for out number two. So good job for Skinner on the mound. I mean, after those five early runs and especially that first inning, he's done a really good job keeping things minimal for the South Lexington offense. And with two quick outs there, that helps him even more. So now Miles Gray, 0 for 1 with a ground out in the second. First pitch swinging, a high swing and a miss. So you see Skinner now attacking with fastballs. As each batter is sitting four, South Lexington swung out the first pitch. Here's the 0 1. Skinner on the ground, a chopper to Lyston that short. Gloves it. Hard throw to first in time for out number three. An easy 1 2 3 inning for Skinner on the mound. 
as we head to the bottom of third. You're watching the 10U Cal Ripken World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus and Crown Point Indiana on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. With electrical services from Economy Electric Heating and Cooling, you can radiate the perfect amount of light and energy into your home. From rewiring and code upgrades to ceiling fans, lighting, security, and more, Economy Electric Heating and Cooling's trained electricians will make sure you can enjoy your home on full power all the time. For a free estimate on electrical work, call Economy Electric Heating and Cooling at 219-923-4441, and you can visit them on the web at 4ajobdoneright.com. That's the number 4ajobdoneright.com. Blythe's Team Sports in Valparaiso is a leader in athletics apparel and equipment sales. With in-house production, including screen printing, trophies, embroidery, and more, Blythe's can help you to create the perfect look. For more information, visit them online at teamblythe's.com. Blythe's Team Sports in Valparaiso, where the athletes shop. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10 World Series, presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. So as we go to the bottom of third, new player in for South Lexington, Case Rogers. Comes in for Miles Gray in left field. So really our first substitution of the game for both teams. Easton Kunis, the batter. In the first battle between the Eastons, reached on an air. And that one... Not sure if that went off the bat of Kunis there. He ducked, and, but didn't put the bat all the way down. No signal of a foul ball or strike, so that will move the count 2-0. and 2-0. And Kunis takes low, four ball three. So after that huge first inning for both teams, pitchers have been able to kind of slow things down on the mound and Keep things just minimal on the offensive side of things. Kind of getting more comfortable on the mound as well. 3-0. Pulls it back. Call the strike on the inside part of the zone. Once again, our next game will be Ultimate against Wake Park Blue. As here is the 3-1. Boing and a miss. Foul tipped into the glove. Count now full. Peter Huss stands on deck. Fifty-one pitches for McGuire so far. Here's the three-two. High four ball four. McGuire really wanted that pitch to be called a strike. So Peter Huss now reached on the fielder's choice back in the first. Tying run now at first. First pitch misses high and away. Count 1-0 and now for the left-hander. Guire 53 pitches, so as of right now, he'd be required one day of rest. So here's the 1-0. Now 1 Foul the way to the left-hand side. Kind of a protective swing made right there by Huss. It's one of those swings where you kind of just throw your bat at the ball and hope for the best. As here's the 1-1. And Huss will take that low for ball two. It's the second matchup between both of these teams here at the 10 Cal Ripken World Series. They first faced off in pool play. West Raleigh won. The 2-1 misses away for ball three. It was a walk-off win off the bat of Emmett Skinner for the team from North Carolina to defeat South Lexington. 
And just like that game, here we have ourselves a close one. Here's the 3-1. Check this swing. He did go. So now a full count with nobody out. Logan Lyson stands on deck. So the catcher fixing his gear down there. It seems like one of his leg guards kind of wasn't on properly. As we have a break, remember you're watching RSN Game Day coverage of the 2023 Cal Ripken 10U World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus. In Crown Point, open seven days a week. Check them out on the web at Pet Supplies Plus slash Crown Point. Of course, if you're in Crown Point to watch the Cal Ripken World Series, stop in for a bite to eat at one of Crown Point's most popular eating establishments, Station 21 American Grill. From burgers and ribs to wings and fish, open every day at 11 a.m. for lunch and dinner. Just one short minute away from the ballpark, check out their menu at Station21.com, Station 21 American Grill. Eat, drink, and relax. The previous pitch from McGuire, 63 miles per hour to 3-2. Misses away for ball four. So back to back walks for West Raleigh. Here comes the manager, Ryan Gray, out to the mound. Logan Lyson, the batter. He had a two RBI triple on his last at bat. McGuire at 58 pitches so far. Probably conversation just to calm him down and. Tell him just to throw strikes and relax and have fun. So as that conversation ends, Lyson, who had one of the biggest hits for West Rally here in this game, a chance here to tie it, bunt shown. Lays it down the third baseline. Gillespie bare hands it to throw the third in time for the force out. Seemed like maybe the runner at second and Kunis thought it was going to not be a force out. Maybe thinking he didn't want to be gunned down at third, but it was a force out for out number one. So Weston Pupa now. First pitch swing, fouls it off the right side netting. Pupa, the extra hitter in today's game. Struck out in his first at bat. As we have a pretty good crowd on hand here in the middle of the day. On what is a beautiful Thursday evening. The 0 one. And Pupa takes for a called strike two. Parents enjoying this game and kids enjoying the slushies from the concession stands. And that's been one popular item from the concession stand is, are those slushies? And I don't know why. I haven't had one yet. I need to get one. But I have seen almost every kid walk around with a slushie from the concession stand on the 0-2 pitch. Low on Pupa. Four ball one. Seems like they got blue raspberry. Probably cherry, of course. But that's been the hot. Topic of concession stand talk. It's now 1-2 after McGuire missed on the 0-2 pitch. Runner stands at second and first with one out. The two-strike pitch. Pupa stays alive on that heater and fouls it straight back. McGuire with zip on that fastball. It's what you call gas. So Pupo calls time. Waits for his sign. And the one, two. Pupo on the ground to the shortstop. Jennings flips it to third for the force out. In time. A heads up play by Jennings. And now two outs. I will say throughout this tournament, these coaches have prepared these kids very well, knowing where to make the play, knowing where to throw the ball, and heads up playing by all these teams here. 
So that first pitch gets past the catcher, and both runners will advance. So now Lyson stands at third, Pupa stands at second. Henry Wilson is your batter. He struck out looking back in the first inning. As a tying run at third, the go-ahead run at second here in early in the bottom of third. 1-0. On the ground, chopper to Jennings, a hard grounder to the first baseman in time for out number three. So McGuire able to wiggle through some trouble once more and throw a scoreless third inning. We'll go to the fourth. 5-4 South Lexington leads as you're watching the 10 U Cal Ripken World Series on the Region Sports Network. The only game in town. This box is small, like Pet Supplies Plus. This one is large, like a big box store. In each, Stu, I Stu, has carefully hidden a toy. Question is, which dog will find it first? Moose, no, you were so close. When life takes you places and you can't get to the store, shop online with Strack and Van Til to go. Our to go service is easy to use and it can save you time and money. Once your order is in, our own Strack and Van Til team preps your order with care. For delivery or pickup, enjoy the convenience of letting our to go team shop for you. Enjoy your special moments. Sign up online today at shop.strackandvantil.com. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10 World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. Top of the fourth, Skinner still on the mound, 54 pitches. So far for the right-hander. Jace Jennings, who was hit by a pitch in his first at-bat, leads off things here in the fourth. South Lexington still leads 5-4. to four. They scored four early runs in the fourth. West Valley responded with a four-run inning for their own. As here's the first pitch, Jennings. Right to the second baseman. Oh, what a catch on the dive. Parker, team, have yourself a day. Doesn't get any better than that. Team read the ball perfectly off the bat and makes the diving grab for out number one. Andrew Waltz now. And on the first pitch once more, a slow roller to team. He'll... Soft toss that to his first baseman. A 4-3 ground out for out number two. So for Skinner on the mound, two pitches, two outs. So Easton McGuire. An RBI double back in the first. He drew a walk in the second. We'll see McGuire swings on this first pitch. It'd be, if he did, maybe a possible three pitch, three outs. And outside, McGuire takes four ball one. So 57 pitches so far for Skinner, and those quick outs have really helped him. 1-0. McGuire checked this swing. He didn't go to count 2-0. And McGuire, a bullet off the bat and past the right fielder. And that one rolls to the wall. Rounding first, going to second. He strolls in there safely. A two-out double. The second double of the day for Easton McGuire. So a little bit of a 
two-out rally. Maybe on hand for South Lexington. Maddox Evans. He's reached base safely and maybe a pinch runner on hand or a pinch hitter. Be curious to see what they do here. And it looks like this is going to be a pinch runner. So it looks like the pitch runner is Caleb Washing for South Lexington. Maddox Evans singled and scored in the first, drew a walk in the second. First pitch swing, a chopper to Wilson at first. going to be a close play. Got it there in time. It was a race to the base. And Wilson won the chase. So now uh, a scoreless inning for Skinner on the mound. There in the fourth, we'll go to the bottom. As you're watching the 10 UConn Ripken World Series on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. Located just one block north of the square in Crown Point and just one minute from Jerry Ross Park, Station 21 American Grill is one of the city's most popular eateries. Station 21 offers a full menu from steaks and seafood to burgers and wings. While in town for the Cal Ripken World Series, stop in and enjoy comfortable dining while watching a game on one of the 28 big screen TVs. Check out the menu at station21.com. Station 21 American Grill. Eat, drink, and relax. Hi, I'm Crowell Company's Lantern Man. I'll cover your motorcycle. I'll be with you on the water. I'll be with you on the snow. I'll cover your insurance needs wherever you go. I'll be at Crowell Agency from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. As Crowell Company's Lantern Man, I'm your insurance superhero. Crowell Company's, the insurance professionals in Highland, Maryville, and Michigan City. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10 U World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. Austin Gillette now. A blue raspberry slushy in my left hand thanks to Claude Martinez. Heard me talking about those in the stands as I said it's one of the most popular things. So the first pitch swinging, a chopper to second baseman Waltz in time for out number one. Tell you one thing, it's a close game, but these hitters are no patient at the plate. They are free swinging at that first pitch. So a new hitter now, Daniel Keeler. He'll come in as a pinch hitter. So Daniel Keeler now steps in as a pinch hitter with one out. Easton McGuire at 67 pitches. The pitch limit here at the 10 UCAL Ripken World Series is 75. So about eight pitches to go. And Keeler takes the first pitch down the middle for a called strike. So this was the spot of Boyer. As here is the 0-1. Keeler on the ground. McGuire picks it up. Underhands it to the first baseman. A 1-3 ground out for out number two. So Ryan Zoo now. Zoo on today. Reached on an air and scored in the first. Drew a walk back in the second. And Zoo takes that first pitch for a called strike. This could be McGuire's last batter. We'll see how many pitches he has to throw here. If you are on 75 during the middle of an at-bat as the 0-1, away for a ball one, you are allowed to finish the at-bat. So if McGuire were to reach 75 on Ryan Zoo here, he would still be allowed to finish the at-bat. The 1-1. One, one. Foul the way. So it's count now 1-2. and two. 
For a game that's had nine runs scored, it's been very quickly paced. So McGuire takes the long walk back to the mound. Has his team up by one. He's had two doubles at the plate, and since that first inning, he's been rolling on the mound. The one-two. High and away to count now two and two across the board with two outs. Parker team stands on deck. This will be a huge momentum boost for South Lexington. As the 2-2. Swing and a miss. And if that's the end for Easton McGuire on the mound, he put a cherry on top. His performance there, striking out Zoo to end the fourth inning. So we'll go to the top of the fifth. South Lexington leads 5-4. You're watching the 10 UCAL Ripken World Series on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. From schools to stadiums, hospitals and bridges, everywhere you look, Union Carpenters are building Indiana. With jobs and skilled trades in high demand, there's never been a better time to start building your future. As an apprentice, you'll earn a debt-free college degree, earn while you learn, and receive great benefits like health care and retirement. So what are you waiting for? Visit Carpenters.com to learn more. Visit Carpenters.com and start building your future today. Thinking about what to do after high school? Consider a career with Boilermakers Local 374. As a Boilermaker apprentice, you'll earn while you learn. We offer excellent wages and benefits, and as part of our no-cost hands-on apprenticeship program, you'll learn from the best in state-of-the-art training centers and on the job. Become a union Boilermaker and get on your way to a great career. Find out more, visit www.local374.org or call 219-845-1000. A big thank you, everybody tuning in. Jack Phil here with the play-by-play. -play. Zach Zanelli behind the camera. James Chalos on the camera. And Claude Martinez overseeing all the productions here. As that first pitch outside on Briggs Lubeck. Lubeck, two hits on the day and two RBI triple in the first. A single in the second. Some substitutions for the defense. Of West Raleigh, and there's a leadoff single through the, through the third baseman in left field for Lubeck. So Layden Willis checks in and left. Keeler, Daniel Keeler, will move to right. Bunch shown. He pulled it back. A good job by the catcher. As there is a new catcher, Pupa checks in behind the plate. As we jot down these changes. And those appear to be the only defensive substitutions for West Rally. So, Layden Willis in left now. Daniel Killer in right. You have Weston Pupa behind the plate. Skinner is still your pitcher at 63. And now here comes the manager, James Team. This might be the end of the day for Skinner, and it is. A job well done. After that first inning, working through some trouble and still keeping the same close for his team. So we're going to take a quick break and be right back and let you know who the new pitcher is for the West Raleigh Blue as you're watching 10 UCAL Ripken World Series on the Region Sports Network, the only Game in town. This box is small, like Pet Supplies Plus. This one is large, like a big box store. In each, Stu, I Stu, has carefully hidden a toy. Question is, which dog will find it first? Moose, no, you were so close.
When life keeps you busy and you can't get to the store, shop online with Strack and Van Til To Go. Our To Go service is easy to use. Register using your rewards account information, fill your virtual cart, and choose delivery or pickup. Once your order is in, our own Strack and Van Til team preps your order with care. With our To Go service, you can earn reward points and save time and money with our online coupons and weekly ad prices. Life made simple, shopping made easy. For more information or to sign up, visit shop.strackandvantil.com. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10 World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. New pitcher for West Raleigh will be Easton Kunis. So you all check in the game on a 1-0 count. Bunt shown, bunt laid down, but foul. So Skinner's day is done on the mound, but he'll move to third base. Ton still the batter. Lubeck let off this fifth inning with a single to left field. As here is the 1-1. Tunstall bunt shown. Bunt laid down right to the pitcher. Kunis turns to his right and throws at the first base for out number one. So Dalton Gillespie now for two on the day. The righty is. He grounded out in the first. Lined out back in the third. South Lexington would like some insurance on that lead. As Gillespie takes that high for ball one. We should expect a new pitcher on the mound for South Lexington when we go to the bottom of the fifth. Easton McGuire is at around 73 pitches after that strikeout. And the 1-0 high, not a count, 2-0. Game 204 here on the major field of the World Series bracket. Quarterfinals today. As here's the 2-0. Down the middle and call to strike. Tomorrow we'll have two games, and those will be the semifinals. So the winner of this game faces off against Florence Navy, the number one seed. As here's the 2-1. And outside, four ball three. South Lexington, the number 12 seed. Trying to get their second upset win in a row. Defeated the Winchester Sachums yesterday. As here's the 3-1 on the ground. And all over past the second baseman team. They're going to send the runner home. And he puts on the brakes. He's actually going to go home, throw at the plate. And he's out. A good job by the catcher, Pupa, on the tag. Lubeck seems a little shaken up after the slide. Maybe his foot or ankle got caught there. Hope for him to be okay. It was... An awkward slide as when he slid with his feet, it kind of collided with the catcher, Poopa. So two outs now. Corey Flannery, the batter. And Flannery on the first pitch right to the second baseman team on the grab. For out number three, so Kunis does a good job in relief on the mound. Throws a scoreless fifth Eight inning, and we'll go to the bottom of the fifth. South Lexington leads 5-4. to four. You're watching the 10 Cal Ripken World Series on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town.
Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10 World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. New pitcher in the game for South Lexington. It'll be Briggs Lubeck. Seems to be okay after that slide at home, so that's great to see. He'll come into the game with this team up by one here late. We only play six innings in the 10 Cal Ripken World Series, and we're in the bottom of the fifth. So just a couple defensive substitutions. It looks like Easton McGuire now moves in at short. Just trying to look through here and see what other substitutions or changes were made. But Parker team is the leadoff hitter for West Raleigh. Jennings, who was at shortstop, moves a third. And Clayton Johnson checks in for the first time. Johnson will be first base. And the catcher is Dalton Gillespie. one all, -0. Fouled away. So Rogers, Evans and Tunstall in the outfield, Jennings at third, McGuire at short, Waltz at second, Johnson at first, Gillespie behind the plate, and Lubeck is the new pitcher. A 1-1 count on team, one for two on the day, singled in the first. Reached on the fielder's choice in the second. So he takes that 1-1 one, one high to count 2-1. and one. For West Raleigh, they scored those four runs in the first, and since then they haven't been able to score one. And the two and one low to count now. Three and one, and when you have these six in the games, everything feels so condensed and more important than your usual nine in the game, which the MLB players play as that one three one does catch his own account now full. It will be the middle of the order due up for West Raleigh with Emmett Skinner on deck. The three two on the ground, a third baseman Jennings backhands it. The long throw and stretch. In time for out number one. And now team may be a little shaken up. He hit that base hard and took a fall after it. Gets up on his own. And makes his way towards the dugout. So I'm at Skinner now. He was the starting pitcher for West Rally. 0 for 2 on today. Grounded out in the first. Flew out in the second. Time called. Gets this nine from the catcher. That first pitch. We'll miss high and away for ball one. One out, -oh. and Skinner takes low for ball two. Takes a bounce in front of home plate. Two out, -oh. and Skinner takes four ball three. So Skinner ahead three and zero oh now. Lou back the pitcher. And that 3 0 does catch his own for a called strike. Skinner now in a header's count. 3 1. And Skinner takes away four ball four. So when I walk, as Skinner reaches safely for the first time today. Easton Kunis now. As Kunis takes that first pitch, high and tight four, ball one. Reached on the air and scored in the first. And drew a walk back in the third. 
A 1-0. And misses low once more to count now 2-0. West Riley trying to build some momentum here late. Down by one. One hit can change the game for them. 2-0. And a fastball call to strike. Skinner at first getting an aggressive lead. 2-1. And away for ball three. Good job by Gillespie behind the plate to keep that one in front of him. Trying to hold that runner at first here with one out. 15 pitches so far for Lubeck. 3-1. That one fouled away to the right side and out of play. So now here comes a 3-2 pitch. Lifted high in the air on the infield. The shortstop, McGuire, able to catch it for out number two. Now, number three, Peter so Peter Us, who reached on the fielder's choice and scored in the first, drew a walk back in third. The left-hander trying to keep this inning alive for West Riley. And Huss, inside his hands, pops it in the air. McGuire, the shortstop, makes the grab for the second straight out. We're out three here in the fifth inning. We'll go to the final six. South Lexington up by one as you're watching the 10U Cal Ripken World Series on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. With electrical services from Economy Electric Heating and Cooling, you can radiate the perfect amount of light and energy into your home. From rewiring and code upgrades to ceiling fans, lighting, security, and more, Economy Electric Heating and Cooling's trained electricians will make sure you can enjoy your home on full power all the time. For a free estimate on electrical work, call Economy Electric Heating and Cooling at 219-923-4441, and you can visit them on the web at 4ajobdoneright.com. That's the number 4ajobdoneright.com. Blythe's Team Sports in Valparaiso is a leader in athletics apparel and equipment sales. With in-house production, including screen printing, trophies, embroidery, and more, Blythe's can help you to create the perfect look. For more information, visit them online at teamblythes.com. Blythe's Team Sports in Valparaiso, where the athletes shop. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10U World Series, presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. Final inning here at Jerry Ross Park in beautiful Crown Point, Indiana, in Northwest. And uh, thank you all for joining us. Jack Thiel on the play-by-play. -play. Zach Zanelli producing. James Chalos on the camera. Almost halfway done through our day. What's been exciting quarterfinal games. We have our semifinal games tomorrow and our championship games on Saturday. We are halfway done with this tournament, which seems crazy to think. I feel like yesterday we were all sitting in the rain on Saturday, waiting for the games to happen. So Case Rogers now. This will be his first at-bat. Lays a bunt down, but foul. So Kunis remains on the mound for West Raleigh in this 5-4 game. Rogers, a lefty with the curls. The only one, hard swing to the shortstop. Lyson on the play to hard throw to first in time. A 6-3 ground out. And give a credit to the pitching of West Raleigh. Although South Lexington took the 5-4 to lead in the second, they've held them scoreless for three straight innings. As here's Jace Jennings. Jennings on the first pitch. Takes that high fastball. Just missed the zone. Once again, our next game will be Altamont and Wait Park Blue. Jennings on that 1-0. Lifts it in the air. It trails left and foul.
So for South Lexington, trying to keep this magic going, they were the num they are the number 12 seed. Defeated the number five seed yesterday. Now leading the number four seed. If they win, they will play the number one seed. The one one. Jennings again fouls that one. And out of play, so now to count one and two. Jennings was hit by a pitch in the second, and he lined out back in the fourth. The one two. Jennings on the ground to the third baseman. Skinner on the throw for out number two. So Kunis able to get two ground outs here. Looks like we may have a substitution. Not sure. Waltz was ready to back, but he's going to head back to the dugout. We're going to have a pinch hitter for South Lexington. It looks like that's number 27, Ethan Schmidt. So Ethan Schmidt had a huge hit in yesterday's win for South Lexington. We'll step in here as the pinch hitter with two outs and nobody on. Kuna's trying to keep this out of one run game. Here in the sixth inning. Schmidt swings at the first pitch, a chopper to the shortstop license, the throw to first in time, a quick one-two. Three inning for Kunis on the mound. We'll head to the bottom of the six. West Raleigh down to their final three outs. It should be one exciting finish. Stay tuned as you're watching the 10U Cub Ripken World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point, Indiana on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. This box is small, like Pet Supplies Plus. This one is large, like a big box store. In each, Stu, I Stu, has carefully hidden a toy. Question is, which dog will find it first? <laughs> Moose, no, you were so close. When life keeps you busy and you can't get to the store, shop online with Strack and Van Til To Go. Our To Go service is easy to use. Register using your rewards account information, fill your virtual cart, and choose delivery or pickup. Once your order is in, our own Strack and Van Til team preps your order with care. With our To Go service, you can earn reward points and save time and money with our online coupons and weekly ad prices. Life made simple, shopping made easy. For more information or to sign up, visit shop.strackandvantil.com. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10 World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. Three outs to go. Will South Lexington advance or West Rally? We'll find out. But South Lexington with the 5 to 4 lead. West Rally will have Logan Lyson to lead things off. Lyson had the huge two RBI triple that rolled all the way to the wall in left field. Lubeck remains the pitcher. And the first pitch away, four ball one. The winner of this game plays Florence tomorrow, the number one seed. South Lexington, the number 12 seed. 1-0. Lyson. On the ground, oh, what a play by Jennings to throw the first to stretch. Got him, oh! Come on now, Jace Jennings playing the hot corner beautifully. If the score remains the same, we're going to have to look back at that play. So Weston Pupa now. On the day, 0 for 1, 0 for 2, I should say. Struck out in the first, reached on the fielder's choice in the third. 
Takes that off-speed pitch for a called strike. And also a good job by Johnson at first with that stretch and keeping the foot on the bag. Oh one. And high for a ball one. So 23 pitches, or 22 I should say, for Lubeck on the mound. It was Easton McGuire who started this game for South Lexington. Gave up those four early runs as here's the 1-1. One Swing and a miss for a strike two, but what a job by the tall right-hander who's now at shortstop to respond by throwing four scoreless innings on the mound. So now it's Lubeck trying to close this one out. The one-two in a way for ball two. South Lexington defeated number five seed Winchester Sachems yesterday, 5-1. Now trying to defeat number four seed West Raleigh Blue. So Pupa calls time at the plate, takes a deep breath. South Lexington fans getting loud here to 2-2. Pupa stays alive, fouls it on the inside part of the bat. A lot on the line, trying to play in the semifinals, the 2-2. On the, on the air in right field and over the second baseman's head. The throw to first, not in time. A heads-up play by Tunstill. But Pupo with the hustle. And West Raleigh now has the tying run at first. Henry Wilson now 0 for 2. Struck out looking in the first. Grounded out in the third. Last time these two teams played, it ended in a walk-off. We'll see what happens here. Time called. Henry Wilson kind of shaking his head. Looks like he might have a B in the area. So maybe a yellow jacket, actually. Wilson's a smart man. I went on and messed with those myself. So everything seems to be okay. So now the tiring run at first. West Rally. As time is caught, almost didn't get it. Scored four runs in the first. Since then, no run scored. And maybe thinking that whatever is it is, it's in his helmet, maybe. So now the assistant coach, Dave Lyson, out there. They'll give him a new helmet. And now he'll just put on his old helmet. So Lubeck gets his sign, the first pitch, Wilson, first pitch swinging, fouling out of play. For South Lexington trying to avoid what happened the last time these two teams played. Trying to reverse their fortune. Here's the 0-1. And Wilson takes high for ball one. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Wilson swung on and missed for strike two. The inning started with a fantastic play by Jennings at third. And then the one-out single by Pupa. And Lubeck has Wilson in the 1-2 count. Here's the two-strike pitch. Wilson lines that in the left field. Rogers is there and makes the grab for out number two. South Lexington one out away from advancing to the semifinals. Lubeck's teammates coming to him, telling him he's got it. 
He's one out away. Breathe on the mound and throw strikes. Layden Willis now for his first at bat. And Willis takes low for ball one. One zero, -oh. and Willis takes away for a ball too. Just a reminder: after today's game, we'll do our Crowell Company's Lantern Man Superhero Game, our Proud Union Home Play the Game, and our Boyles Maker Local 374 Blue Collar Player of the Game. The two zero, -oh. and Willis takes called strike. A good response by Lubick on the mound after two straight balls to throw a strike there. 2-1, and high on Willis for ball three. Daniel Keeler stands on deck for West Raleigh. 3-1, Willis takes down the middle, call strike, 3-2, two, two outs. And here comes the biggest pitch of the game. Here's the 3-2. Willis lifts it right side and foul. Johnson at first was almost to make was almost able to make a play on that one. So we'll do the 3-2 once more. Here it comes. Willis swing and a miss. Strike three. Out number three. And the magic for South Lexington continues. They will advance to the semifinals and play the number one seed, the Florence Navy All-Stars. South Lexington wins five, the four. What a great game by both of these teams. For West Raleigh, although their season is over, each kid should hold their heads high. They have uh, to be proud of a lot of things they accomplished this summer. And although they didn't win, they will finish as one of the top teams in the 10U division of the Cal Ripken. So we're going to take a quick break and be right back. And we'll name our RSN Award winners here. Once again, South Lexington defeats West Raleigh 5 to 4 as you're watching the 10U Cal Ripken World Series on the Region Sports Network. The only game in town. So back here, South Lexington advances 5 4. They win. Now, time for our Crowell Company's Lantern Man Superhero to Game. They have offices open from 9 to 7, Monday through Friday, and Saturday is till 2 in Highland, Maryville, and Michigan City. So, your Crowell Company's Lantern Man Superhero of the Game will go to number 16 for South Lexington, Briggs Lubeck. Three hits on the day, two RBIs, and he closed the game out for his team there in the six. And what an effort from number 16 on the field today. So once again, your crowd company's lantern man, 
superhero of the game will go to Briggs Lubeck. Now time for your proud Union home play of the game. It's presented by IKORCC, the Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio Regional Council of Carpenters, where you can build your own future. Learn more at IKORCC.com. Your proud Union home play of the game will go to Jace Jennings. What a play that was there in the top of the six, the backhanded grab and the long throw to gun off the leadoff runner for West Raleigh in the sixth inning. That was a huge play that, who knows, could have resulted in that tying run for the team from North Carolina. So once again, Jace Jennings is your proud Union home play of the game, which is presented by IKORCC. Now time for your Boilsmaker Local 374 Blue Collar. Play the game. You can earn while you learn with Boils Maker Local 374. Learn about apprenticeship programs and more at local374.org. We'll turn our court our book over and go to West Rally. It's going to be number nine, Logan Lyson. He was really huge on the offensive side of things and defensively for West Rally. He had the two RBI triple. That was a one hopper off the wall in left field. And he played a great shortstop for West Rally. So once again, your Boils Maker Local 374 Blue Collar Player of the Game will go to Logan Lyson. And a big thank you to our executive producer, Chris Ramirez, our video coordinator, Claude Martinez, man on the camera, James Chalo, Zach Sinelli producing today's game, and of course overseeing all our productions, Claude Martinez and Mike Dewan. A big thank you to our World Series Tournament Director, Adam Whitehouse, for all his hard work over the week. And a big thank you to all our coaches and, of course, you, the viewers, whether on YouTube, Facebook, or our website, regionsports.com. And a big thank you to our sponsors, the Blue Crew, Station 21, and, of course, Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point, Indiana. We'll be back in about 20, 30 minutes for Game 3 of 4 of Bracket Play here in the quarterfinals as you're watching coverage of the 2023 Cal Ripken 10U World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. <laughs> 